Hey, what's up, Connor Collinswood? What's up, everybody? Uh, Hope Kilborn, how you doing? Infinity Gaming, Eric, Anthony, Connor saying hello again, Pet Chillness, Justin Herman, Liam Clyde, you guys are on point, man. You guys are no joke. You guys get right on. Uh, hey, hey, Fish and Animal Adventures. What's up, everybody? I'm going to be uh, hanging out uh, in the immediate uh, vicinity of the Wi-Fi. As we know that the Wi-Fi is important to have a live uh, chat. We got some uh, Missouri tortoise. Actually, it's a Missouri crocodile diet, but I use it for my freshwater turtles. So we're going to feed some freshwater turtles, check out some of the other critters. Uh, things are slowly getting back to, um, what is it, normal here? Been working my butt off, but things are getting clean. Uh, and in some ways, guys, uh, hurricanes are really good because they force you to do yard work you kind of put off for uh, well, a long time. But uh, yeah, we got a lot of trees uh, uh, cleaned up. Things are already starting to grow again. Jeff does gaming. What's up? Uh, Alyssa wait. Nice to see you. Thank you for watching. Hunter Coop Outdoors. Yo back, brother. Esther Wong. I love animals. Thank you for watching. Who's... Andreas Cordero. What's up? I love Costa Rica. My favorite place. Next to Australia. Um, say hi to Anne. Hi, David. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, really cool, man. We've done a lot of work. We've, me, I've done a lot of work. Um, basically, uh, got new gates. Um, I have to fix the bamboo fences out front. Got a lot of bamboo to, to do that with. Uh, but, you know, things are good, man. Things are good. Feeling better. Feeling better. Tommy, welcome to the first live stream. Uh, they can sometimes be frustrating because, you know, sometimes the signal drops out. Let's say hello to some of the leopards. Uh, the leopard tortoises got some tortoise diet here today, and they're all out. In a so we can kind of look out over them. You see them just kind of hanging out. There were five inside their house, but their little sniffers work really well, so they're going to come on out. They're eating the tortoise diet right now. Uh, so these guys are just coming out. They're going to be investigating. Uh, thank you, Mario, Minnie. Appreciate that. Uh, Tyler Russell, welcome. What's up, Tiff, Tiff Garcia? Good to see you, pal. Um, yeah, man. So uh, I do not ship overseas. I do not ship turtles overseas, only in the, uh, the continental United States. Uh, but I do ship shirts overseas, and we shipped out 18 packages this week uh, to various parts of the world, the Philippines, Ireland. Uh, the UK got some. Canada got some. So there you have it. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. I hope you guys are uh, as thrilled to get your shirts as I was to send them. We have hats coming up here real soon. Uh, Tom went and ordered the hats, so I'm pretty excited about that as well. So in a couple of weeks, we'll have hats also. Uh, and I want to give a shout out to my friends over there on Patreon. Thanks, guys, so much, man. Uh, really appreciate your support on Patreon and, of course, on the YouTube uh, channel right now. Uh, so uh, things are drying out. Uh, there's still a lot of mud over in that vicinity, so the, the big sulcatas are not out. I have them kind of hanging. Anaria Victor, is that how I say it? Anarine? Anarine? Oh, God, I'm bad. Hi, Cape Town, South Africa. How about this? South African tortoises right here. We got some leopard tortoises. I'd love to get to South Africa and see these guys in our natural habitat. It always makes you a better keeper if you can see the animals where they are from. That's a goal of mine is to get out there and bring Camp Kennan International so we can get out and learn about these animals. I want to go everywhere. Everywhere there are reptiles, I want to go. We got the water running, cleaning out their enclosures, cleaning out the ponds. It's on a timer, so that comes on out. We've got the uh, radiata, the radiated tortoises are eating right now. They're doing their thing. Uh, I'm going to put back up all their other stuff. We, you know, you guys were here last week. You saw that all trimmed down. Let's get in here and see some leopards up close, and I'll get to some of your questions, okay? I know they're flying by, and I apologize. You guys are quick these days. Let's uh, get it rolling here. So here are the leopards. Uh, thank you, Patrick, for watching, man. Really appreciate that. We're going to do more swimming series coming up soon. Tom's on his way down October 3rd. We're going to film a bunch more Camp Kennan episodes. I'm pretty excited about that. We have some really cool things um, planned. Esther Wong from Dubai, hello. Uh, what new to new batches of tortoises have uh, been doing? The ones you got from my friend. Oh, they're good, as a matter of fact. I was just uh, feeding them, but I don't think the signal will work. Hello back to Denmark and uh, Colopi, Colopi, I suppose. Hi, Brandon. Chantel, uh, you have a tortoise? Very good. Chantel Connell. I have a couple tortoises, too. 
Here they all are. There's one hiding in the grass. A little laggy, a little laggy. Where's my, where's my internet? Where's my internet? Slinky is good. Bingham to New York. Waylon, what's up, man? Uh, let's see. I was from Long Island, New York. What's up, Laturn202? I'm from, uh, my heritage is, uh, I'm German. I have some German in me there. I've been to Munich, Dusseldorf, Hamburg, and Cloyne. Cloyne? Cloyne. Yeah, there you go. Uh, good, man. Um, all right, so uh, let's see. Uh, someone just threw a question out. Can, they, uh, can a tortoise uh, overgrow from pyramiding? No, they'll always have the bumps, but the new growth is going to get smoother. Uh, so there you go. And we don't worry about pyramiding as long as it's within normal range. Like, for example, the leopard tortoises you just saw and the radiated tortoise right here. They'll have a little pyramiding. Uh, hi, Sarah Earl. Nice to see you there, pal. Thanks for saying hello to me. Uh, we got a little sulcata over here, one of the young females in the B group. Here she is, walking down the corridor. I originally wanted to open this up so that all the sulcatas had like crazy. This is the one sulcata pen right here, where my original 11 live. And I built this kind of alleyway. And then it goes all the way down there and up. See the house in the background? That's their turtle house. Uh, so it's pretty crazy, man. I originally want them to just wander all over, but then I got the B group and I don't want to disrupt um, my A group by adding new males and causing fights, but I do like space uh, for my animals. Here's some more of these funny little dudes. What do you say we throw some uh, food in for the pond turtles? I think our signal is going to work over there and this way we can kind of hang out and chat while I get some work done feeding the animals. Uh, what tortoise should you get? You're in Ireland. I think, uh, well, I think you should get, you know, a European species. They say small. I'm sure it's kind of, you know, can be wet in Ireland. I know you guys have a maritime climate, so you want to have an animal that you can pull in and out. You see, these are my piranha. I got some piranha in here. Um, I'm just kidding, actually. It's, uh, it's the tilapia that live in here, but in a moment, we're going to be seeing a lot of, um, a lot of turtles swimming on over. I have some boas. I've got uh, hog island boas and I've got dumerels boas and uh, they're pretty cool. I have some pythons as well. Uh, hi Christian with the galop. Uh, can I trim the nails of a tortoise? Yeah, you can trim the nails of a tortoise. You just don't want to cut too close or they will bleed. You get regular pet clippers. You also can sometimes have to trim the beak of a tortoise and you do that with a dremel. And if you're not comfortable doing it, bring it to a vet and they'll be able to do it for you. Here's the uh, South American side neck. Uh, that there is the Phrynops hillari. I don't know if you can see him. He's right there. So that's pretty cool. We got a dog barking in the back. Um, kind of a crazy deal. Greg Brasher has a great, I, I recommend what, what Greg said. I feed off a rough surface uh, like slate rock or one of the clay terracotta pots. Uh, pot bases, flower pot bases, because then the tortoise will naturally wear its beak down. So there you have it. We're learning stuff here. Cam Ken and Army, pretty good. What do I do if my tortoise is not growing? I don't know. I want, you'd have to check out and make sure that your husbandry is correct, that you have UVB light, that the diet is correct for the species, um, that its habitat and environmental needs are met. If not, sometimes tortoises just, you know, if you have a baby, sometimes some babies just don't put on weight and they don't grow. Um, and we got to remember that in most cases, tortoises, uh, they lay a lot of eggs. A lot of reptiles lay a lot of eggs. And basically what that is for is just for, um, gosh, guys, they go into the uh, food chain. So, you know, whatever. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look at this live. This. Do you guys see what I see? After the hurricane, you get little surprises here. And look at that. Can anyone tell me what they see in my pond? What do you guys see in my pond? that um, just kind of wandered in here. Oh my gosh. Yep, Tyler's got it. We got a baby gator that has wandered into my pond. How awesome is that? Uh, looks like Kyle's gonna get a new buddy here soon. Uh, looks like he's not too afraid of people as he's coming on over here. And this is crocodilian diet. But you know, even though this animal is on my property and it's small, it's illegal to feed this animal. Um, he's going to just wind up getting food that I'm feeding my turtles, so we're going to have to remove this animal legally. Uh, and Kyle's going to come on af over and have to do that. I mean, I can ignore him, uh, but, you know, you are not allowed to restrict the animal's movement. 
Um, so therefore, you know, Fish and Wildlife, you know, this is a baby gator. It wandered in through the little holes. They're big enough for a gator to kind of climb through. Um, so basically, he's either going to wander out or I'm going to have to have him removed legally uh, through somebody like Kyle with a permit. And he's going to have to go live at Kyle's. But that is kind of cool. As a reptile guy, I think we like that. Uh, uh, Cinnamon Boney. Uh, hi, Dominic. I think that's a greeting. There you go, Cinnamon Boney. Nice to see you. We got a little gator in here swimming around looking for a handout. Oh, and he disappeared, but he'll pop back up again. I want to get my turtles fed. He doesn't go too far. You know what he's doing is he's actually catching fish that are swimming next to the uh, crocodile diet. So that's pretty cool. He's biting turtle heads too. Look out, little guys. Uh, very awesome, man. So we got a little surprise today. How cool is that? Little gator in the pond, everybody. And my phone's getting hot. I'm going to get over to a new location because this phone overheats. Let's go over to this pond. Let's go see what's happening with the Batiger and the albino softshell. And I'm going to do a couple of bonus videos this week. Uh, and you're going to see what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some turtles to this pond that I've already had. I'm actually going to put my Asian box turtles. Oh, look, there's the albino right there. You guys see him? You guys see him? Look at that. A couple weeks ago, we put him in. And there's the albino Chinese soft shell. Let's get him fed for you guys so you can see this little dude. There he is. He's so friendly. I love this guy. Look at him go. See him right there? How cool is that? Uh, yeah, these are little guppies. These are called mosquito fish, and they eat all the fit, uh, mosquito larvae. There he goes. How cool, guys. The little albino is doing great in here. So I'm going to add the Chinese, uh, excuse me, the Asian box turtles. That's the uh, Quora ambienensis. And I'm going to add my pink belly side necks and Reeves turtles to this pond. I want all my Asian turtles in one pond. This pond is big enough to sustain all those animals, and they should get along just fine. Uh, pretty cool, huh? How awesome is that, everybody? I love soft shells. They're great swimmers. They have crazy little personalities. Let's see if we can get some of these Batiger up. Let's see. Throw some of this out there. I had them up earlier, kind of getting them ready for the live feed, but they went down. We got the fly river turtles in here as well. Uh, can tortoise stay outside in the UK? Only during the summer, guys. Uh, it gets too cold and wet in your winter. Um, so wet and damp is bad for most tortoises, especially tortoises from the Mediterranean, like Greek Hermans and Marginateds. Uh, it doesn't really rain too much in the Mediterranean, and you don't want those animals to catch cold, because it can happen. All right, let's see. My Reeves is clomping around my room. Yeah, JP, Toilty21. Uh, they are pretty rad, man. I uh, love them. Let's see. New fan here, Kenan, Curtis McMahon. Thanks for joining us, Curtis. Love the channel. Can you do more advanced Mata Mata Turtle at some point? Maybe show your build or feeding demo. That's a good idea, man. Right now, to be perfectly honest, the Mata Mata lives in a tub. Very boring. Um, I'd like to get him into something more natural. I'd like to get him into something where we can see him underneath water and really get a good feeding video of him eating fish. Uh, as you guys may have heard, Kyle and I are gonna combine forces and we are gonna make a really cool facility uh, that is gonna be based on education. It's gonna be a nonprofit and we're also gonna do some private tours. So if you guys get together and you wanna see the facility, we're gonna have a place where you can go. Uh, there'll be a donation and you'll be able to get a private tour of the new facility. We don't know what we're gonna call it yet, but um, we're pretty excited. It's about a year away before we break ground. But um, I think that would be a great place to build a new habitat for the Mata Mata. And we want to build something for the uh, alligator snapping turtle. But I want people to be able to view them from the surface like this. But I also want to see them in, underwater. <clears throat> so there you go. Do I fish in my main pond? Uh, do I fish in my main pond for fun at all? No, I don't. I mean, I throw my cast net in. Um, to get fish for the Mata Mata, um, but I, I, you know, I get bycatch. I get like tilapia every once in a while. Gosh, these guys aren't coming up. Kind of a dud right here, except for this little dude. And that's also part of the reason I want to put more turtles in here, because I mean, it's no fun looking a pond and not see turtles, right? So uh, we want to do that. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, what other questions do we have? All right, hold on. You have Chantel. Just ask the question, homie. Chantel, ask the question. I don't know what it is, pal. And don't get mad because there's about a hundred questions a second flying up on the feed, okay? So I can't see everyone. I'm doing a couple of things at once. Feeding, talking, walking. I'm not that good at multitasking. Uh, All right, here we go. More turtles. We're going to throw some more of this good stuff in here for them. See what's going on. We still got that gator hanging around. Oh boy, pretty cool, man. Uh, you have a box, Jacob Folger has a box. The sulcata goes in, it's about 78 degrees. Is that too hot? Pretty, pretty not, pretty not a, uh, pretty not sure, not sure, man. Uh, so yeah, here's this little gator swimming in. Uh, I did see him a little while ago and Kate named him Big Al. And there he is, he's back. Um, Big Al is back, chomping away. Uh, we're going to get Big Al. Hey, here's Bertha right here. Look at this big uh, big critter. Uh, Chantel, let's see. All right, hold on. Damien Graves. Chantel, I'm a herpetologist. I can tell you that no one can diagnose a problem with an animal like that. It needs to be seen by a vet. Very good. If it was a health-related question, listen to Damon uh, because I would say the same thing. I can't, I, I, you know, everyone wants me to diagnose an animal over the Internet. You have to be able to look and touch and feel the animal and see how the animal has been kept and ask many, many questions. So you really got to bring it to a qualified reptile vet. All right, so listen to Damon. Great, Damon. Thanks for jumping in there, buddy. Uh, do I have any bearded dragon? Nope. Uh, how many types of animals do I have? Chloe Logan says. Oh, man. Well, I have turtles, lizards, and... Uh, well, I guess I got an alligator right now, but he's not mine. Uh, turtles, lizards, uh, snakes... I got about 30 different species of turtle and tortoise, a few different species of lizard, uh, and one, two, uh, six different species of snakes. Um, so that's what I got. That's it, people. Uh, let's get serious with these questions. Whoa, whoa. Hey, everybody there? Hold on. <laughs> Hi, guys. Sorry about that. Almost lost you. Oh, wait. There we go. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I do not have an alligator. Reptile boy. This animal wandered in uh, naturally, and I am not keeping him. Um, he'll go live with Kyle. Oh, look at this. That's so funny. But there he is. Uh, I live in Florida, and baby alligators look for a new habitat, and they wander in to the ponds. To many people here where I live, we'll get baby gators in your pond. And I personally don't mind a baby gator. It's no big deal. The animal is not contained. It can leave whenever it wants. Um, I am not trying to feed this animal. If he gets something, you know, I got to feed my turtles. So nothing I can do. Uh, so there you have it. It's illegal to own alligators without proper permitting. And, uh, you know, luckily for me, I got a friend with the right permit so he can come get this animal out of here and put it into his facility safe and sound. Uh, or I could just have bush wildlife come and grab it. And there you go. Uh, so, uh, good times. Let me get back to the questions, though. What do we got? Anybody making a question? Uh, can you please make a video about red eared sliders? Maybe. Uh, what's the biggest type of turtle? Well, if you're talking the biggest type of turtle out there, that's going to be the leatherback sea turtle. Largest freshwater turtle is going to be your alligator snapper. There's also a couple of soft shells like the, um, oh, it lives in India. Come on, Ken, and you know this. It's a, is it the, um, Oh man, it's a giant Indian soft shell. It's not Lasemis, I don't think. It's not a flap shell. Chitra, that's right. Chitra uh, is a very big freshwater turtle. Also, Badigers get very large. The uh, Podicnemis expansa is another large South American river turtle. Um, very, very cool. And uh, that's about as big as they get. Let's see, about a couple hundred pounds. Biggest turtle in my pond, in this pond, is my Orlidia borneensis. Uh, that is a, uh, it's the giant river turtle from Asia. I rarely see it, but it is a monster and it is in here. It's a male and boy, is he big. He is a big boy. Let's get some out there for the turtles that are too shy. Here we go. Oh, we're having fun now, people. Uh, will I get the permit? I used to have the permit. I had a class two permit, um, you know, you still can't keep gators like that. This is a wild gator, it just wandered in. Um, you have to have specific fencing if you're going to contain the gator. Uh, but I just didn't renew my class two because uh, number one, I work under Bush Wildlife's permit. Um, 
and so um, I'm legally able to help, you know, n n not nuisance gators, I'm not a gator trapper, but if there is an animal in distress, I'm allowed to go help that animal and bring it back to the sanctuary under their permit. Uh, but Kyle and I became friends, and Kyle's got all the necessary permits. He's got such a great facility. Why would I want one? Kyle and our buddies, I'd rather see them uh, see them at Kyle's house happily uh, with a lot of space. And wait until you see what Kyle, uh, what Kyle builds, uh, his new facility. It's going to be so cool, guys. And I'm going to bring all the documentation of that coming up here in the next year. It's really going to kick off. Look at how he's eating. <laughs> what a little lunatic. A little gator. Uh, let's see. Uh, can we give our tortoise cactus? Of course. You want to be a vet chantel? Very good, man. Go to school. You got to go to school for vet veterinary. Uh, what's up, Christopher Suffer? How you doing, Supper? Good to see you, bro. Um, yeah, Kyle and I are definitely friends of benefits. That's for sure. Uh, my neighbor thinks I'm crazy. I'm talking to my phone over here. I don't think he understands what's going on. But um, why don't we move back? Oh, that gator just split. Why don't we move? Oh, wait, wait, guys. I think I see some of the Badiger. Let's go back over here, see what's happening. I think it's gonna be way more fun when I have actually uh, more turtles in this pond, don't you guys think? Connor, Slinky is good, man. Slinky is good. Hi, David Richmond. I'm gonna ask if, uh, answer a few more questions and then I'm gonna head on out and get back to work. I got bonus videos to film. I got to ask Camp Kennens to do. Lots going on here. So uh, please say hello to Indonesia. Hi. Arti Wiyoyega Sarezi. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry I destroyed your name. But I am saying hello to Indonesia and I'd love to go there. Excuse me. I had a little sub earlier. Burping up sub. Tastes good on the way up too, you know. But um, I'm uh, pretty cool, man. Pretty, I'm not pretty cool, but India, Indonesia is pretty cool. And I want to go there very badly because you have cool reptiles in Indo. I have some of your Indonesian reptiles here, the Malaysian box turtles, the slinky. Uh, hello to Australia, Easy Breeze. Just woke up. Well, good idea there. It's good to see you. Any day you wake up alive is a good day. Any day you wake up alive and in Australia, even better day. Uh, cool, man. Wow. We're having fun, man. Uh, do I like Australian monitors? Do I like Australian monitors? I would love to have a Lacey, Bell's face, uh, or just regular Lacey, because Laceys can take cooler temps. Hold on while I finish feeding these guys. That's just gonna spread on out, and they're gonna eat it. Uh, yes, I love Parente. I love the, uh, the Ackies, the small species, uh, but I really love Laceys, because Laceys would do great here in Florida in a nice outdoor enclosure. Um, I'd put a roof on it so it doesn't rain on them all the time, but they can take the cooler temps. They'll hide in a log hollow and so on. Um, you guys from Australia know the Critter Cam guys, my friends Peter Birch and Colin Schumark. Love those dudes. Can't wait to see them. I'm hoping to get to Australia soon. And I heard a rumor those fellas might be over here in October. And if that's the case, we are going to have to do a little video with the boys from down under, the Critter Cam boys. Uh, all right. Let's see, man. I'm gonna just uh, get over here. How long have we been talking? 23 minutes. Uh, all right, swimming with a giant salamander, that would be cool. Hellabenders up in the uh, Susquehanna River would be cool. And then I could go back to Clyde Peeling's place, so that would be rad. Uh, what tortoise, t tortoise that stays the smallest? That's Natalie May. You know, you Greek tortoises, Herman's tortoises, uh, spider tortoises. Um, you know, when you get more and more advanced, you know, angulated tortoise, cape beaked tortoise, parrot beaked tortoise, things like that. Uh, how much would a, you sell a captain born? I don't sell captive born Russian tortoises, but they are, they're fairly inexpensive, about $80. Uh, I did not see Brian Barchik's albino monitor, Megan. Uh, I'd love to go to New Zealand and see Tuatara in the wild. Um, and then I'd like to go to Middle Earth. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, ten turtles go swing with them. That would be amazing, reptile boy. Uh, what would I do if my animals outlived me? Well, that's a good question. I'm hoping to reproduce and have something that loves animals as well. Uh, but the animals will go. Uh, you know, we're building a society. We're building a foundation, uh, Kyle and I, and it'll be really neat. And we'd like to. I'd like. My dream is to continue to build Camp Kennan, and just collecting more and more like-minded people like you all out there who love the videos and love the animals. 
so that we can we can really take care of them well into the uh, 21st century, which we're in. And after I'm gone, and hopefully someone else takes up the mantle and wants to do it, man. There you go. Uh, let's see. Heated cage. Oh, wait, that went too fast. Would I buy a green iguana? No, I wouldn't buy. I had green iguanas. I have one. His name's Taylor. Uh, we don't. I don't buy them. They're loose out here in Florida, so it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Um, Got to go soon. Love your videos. Thanks, Sarah, for watching. I appreciate that. I'm going to go soon, too, so you're not going to miss too much more after this. Uh, Jordan, I don't have any job offering openings right now. Um, we're still a small little um, – we're a small outfit, but next year when we start building the new facility, we're going to need some volunteers. Uh, so there you go. Turtle Rapist is on. What up? I would buy a Turtle Cowboy T-shirt. All right, Turtle Rapist. So cool that you're here, dude. Um, always love when I see him. This guy makes some sick, dope rhymes about turtles. The turtle rapist, everybody. Uh, that's a good idea, though. Maybe we'll get a Camp Cannon cowboy hat turtle, um, and he'll be our mascot. Is there a turtle that, let me, let me see, Sarah Earl, is there a tortoise that can live in a 90-gallon, I live in Canada, so it's too cold. I'd get a Russian tortoise, Greek tortoise, something like that, and instead of, like, a fish tank, I would get a tortoise table. Google tortoise table and look for some ideas. Um, but there is a reptile show this weekend, and uh, thank you, Chantel. I saw that, sweetie. That was very nice of you. Uh, it, you know, I'm super stoked that you appreciate the show and that, that I inspire you. And you guys inspire me right back. I mean, it's just a fun place where we have a lot of opportunity to meet and talk and, you know, watch and create more really cool stuff. Uh, I was talking about this weekend, I'm going to fire show, uh, and basically um, uh, I have something going where, guys, we're going to be coming to you with a really cool full setup, beginner setup for turtles. It's going to be Camp Kennan approved. I'm working with a good buddy of mine. Um, I'm going to go check it out at the show and see if I like it. And basically, guys, you'll be able to order a turtle and a habitat from me, and it's going to be really cool if you're just getting into turtles. I think you guys will like this. Um, there you go. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, ignoring the Netherlands. Fritz. 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 What's with the, 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 the taking the Lord's name in vain? Settle down, dude. I mean, Zeus be good. All you guys up there, you crazy Vikings. Well, no, you're Netherlands. Not a lot of Vikings in the Netherlands, right? I don't think so. I know you had some Celtic blood in there, but I don't know. The Netherlands is an interesting place, as I'm told. I met a few people from the Netherlands. The Netherlands is a small country, and you guys speak many different languages because you're fantastic traders, which means that you're good communicators, which means you don't need to go screaming to get my attention. Anyway, um, what else is going on? Who could ignore the Netherlands, for crying out loud? I love the Dutch. Uh, yeah, there you go. You're laughing. Let's see what you said here, Fritz. Uh, how is Jurassic Kennan doing after Irma? Everyone's good, buddy. No European palm turtles, although I love them. I think they're a fantastic species. They do good here in North America as well. Um, but yeah, all the animals are good. Everyone's great. Um, things are getting back to normal. I'm actually going to sign off here, and we are going to uh, film some bonus videos. You'll see what I film uh, coming up on Sunday. All right, guys. So... Um, I guess uh, I'm going to sign off, man. Yeah, the Raphius. It's, I think there's only one left. It may have died. That's the uh, Raphius is the, the Ho Kaim turtle from Vietnam. So I do know about it. I read a lot. Uh, kitties are around somewhere, Tiff. They drive me crazy, though. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed our little uh, afternoon interlude, interlude from whatever you guys were doing. Don't forget to go to Patreon.com. It really helps the camp out. It helps me out, continue to build, uh, support the videos, and so on. Go to Patreon.com slash Camp Kennan. Become a supporter. There's a lot of content going up there now that you don't see anywhere else. Uh, and thanks for subscribing, all right? See you guys. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you again real soon. More videos to come. So long.